Hello and welcome guys to my YouTube channel. I do abstract art and I use fluid paint for that. This is my base coat and that's the most important thing after the composition because I will put the composition on top of that paint and I will stretch it out and with it the composition on top will stretch out. So the pillow paint, the base paint is the vehicle to move my colors in the right position so I will get a composition that I like. I will be using some interference colors and this one is by this little piggy called Macaw. It is a gold blue interference color and those interference colors are really the best on a black background. That's why I put some of my black paint down and on top of that I put some macaw accentses, accentses, ah. I put macaw on top of the black a little bit here and there. So this was a swipe without any cell activator. It was just those three colors and I started on the black and swiped that out a little. I want to create a painting with a lot of negative space and I know I don't want my composition right in the middle, I want it in the lower third of my canvas. This is a fun thing to do. You layer up your palette knife and just do a regular swipe with a black cell activator on your pillow paint in a spot that will spin off anyway. And then you can pick that up and transfer it to a different place. Off camera I loaded up my palette knife and I started with my cell activator in gold and then I added the same colors as before southern ocean blue, indigo waves and then macaw and then I pick a good spot and swipe. This is a very intuitive process. I have kind of an idea in mind and then I just don't think anymore and do. When you scoop up paint and drag it out, make sure you don't pick up too much of the pillow paint. That way you truly just move the composition and not the white below.
I have a composition in mind that has a lot of negative space. And I usually go for either two thirds or one third. In the end, though, it depends on the paint you have on your canvas. If I put too much pillow or base coat down, I need to tilt or spin as long as I just have a tiny bit of paint left. Having a lot of pillow paint is good for being able to move your paint in all the places, but also sometimes you have to move your paints in all of the places. If you understand what I'm trying to tell you. So it's really about experience and a feeling and if you end up with too much pillow paint on your canvas, all you can do is tilt and spin it off. Otherwise it will dry really badly, probably crack and we do not want that. So all that paint that is too much needs to go off. Even though I like the composition right now, I have to do a little bit more work. From now on it's just fine tuning. There's still a lot of paint movement so I have to tilt more paint off. That's gonna take a while so I put you on a sped up mode and as always thanks so much for being here. I hope you learned something. The best tip I can give you is experiment, do it as much as you can. And you learn from that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Bye bye.